Okay, let's go ahead and divide these powers without using a calculator. And there's a couple different approaches we can take here, but uh, often many students get a little confused with this. But if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then we're going to take a detailed look into how to uh, divide powers. This is really important stuff, especially for those of you that might be taking a course like algebra. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is uh, my true passion to try to uh, make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, again, we want to put our calculators away. So two to the third divided by two to the negative fifth power. What does this equal to? Well, we're going to express our final answer here in terms of a power. So here it is, it's two to the eighth power. Now, of course, you can go and be like, okay, two to the eighth power, that's two times itself, eight times. That's a lot of multiplication. So you don't need to do that. If you did that, that's great. But the answer that I'm looking for is two to the eighth power. Now, when it comes to working with powers in mathematics, it's not correct um, if you leave your answer, let's say two to the negative third, right? If you turn in, an answer with a negative exponent, typically your teacher is not going to like that. They're going to kind of frown upon that. So uh, you're not done working with a power uh, until you have all your exponents as positive. Okay, So this is a pretty common convention. Most math teachers probably would uh, agree with me on this. So just get in the habit of not leaving your final uh, exponents, your final powers, having negative exponents. If you don't even know what an exponent is, don't worry, I'm gonna explain all of this uh, in just one second. But if you got this right, that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your uh, friends and family that indeed you are a professional when it comes to uh, dividing powers and exponents. They'll be so impressed with that information. But let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so here is the problem. We have two cubed uh, divided by two to the negative fifth. Now the way this is written right here is uh, not the best uh, format, nothing wrong with it, but I wanna think of this problem this way, okay? so. This is two cubed divided by two to the negative fifth, and this is two cubed divided by, I'm gonna use this fraction bar here, two to the negative fifth. Okay, so this is the first move that I would make. Now again, um, some of you could just be like, oh no, I just knew what to do, and that's great. But let me just uh, suggest one thing here. If you went from this to the correct answer, your teacher might be like, hmm, you know, did this person really know what they were doing? You know, uh, because you have to show proof, right? And you don't want to do too much what we call mental math, right? You don't want to do too much uh, steps, you know, in your brain, okay? You want to list them out, boom, boom, boom. So your teacher can uh, see, hey, how you're thinking, and two, you can check your work as you go, right? So you don't want to just take too many steps, you know, and be like, oh, no, I just knew this. My brain is, you know, powerful. I could just tell you the right answer. Well, that's great and that's fantastic and you might be able to, but list out these steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write this problem this way. Okay, so that is, again, uh, uh, the best way, in my opinion, and I've been doing this for quite some time, to uh, structure a problem like this. Now, the second thing we need to know is kind of the language uh, when we're dealing with powers, okay? So this right here, is two to the third power, right? This is two to the negative fifth power. So that's, you know, we're using this word uh, power, but there are parts to a power. Okay, now what are the parts? Well, there's something called the base and the exponent. That's what makes up a power. So the big number in a power, this bottom number down here is the base. Okay, so we can see we have two as a base in this uh, power in the numerator, and uh, the base down here is also two. So uh, this is very important 
these powers have the same base. This is extremely important. I'll get back to this in a second. But these small little numbers in the top right are called the exponents. So this down here, 2 to the negative 5, the exponent's negative 5. And up here, the exponent is a positive 3. But what you really want to focus in on when you're dealing with powers and working with powers is looking at the bases, okay? So if the powers you're trying to divide, uh, multiply, or whatnot, uh, typically the rules of uh, powers or properties, what we call technically properties of powers and exponents, are going to be dependent upon uh, if you have the same base. Okay, so if you have multiple powers, that's great. But for example, if I have 2 cubed and 3 to the fifth, these bases are uh, different. So there's really not much I can do with uh, algebraically or mathematically to simplify the situation. Let's say it's multiplication, nothing I can do. However, once I have the same bases, okay, then I can do stuff. And what can I do? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. All right, so here are some of the rules, not all the rules, but some of the most important rules when it comes to dealing with uh, powers and exponents. So again, you need to have the same base. So here is one. Now you might look at this and be like, this just looks a lot of like, you know, crazy formula stuff. It's not that bad, okay? So this is these are two powers, a to the m. This is just a power. a is the base, m is the exponent. Down here, a to the n, another power, a is the base, n to the exponent. But what's going on here? We're dividing power. This is very much like our situation. Matter of fact, it's exactly like our problem. So when you're dividing uh, two powers, with the same base, we, all we need to do is write that base and sub, um, find the difference of the of the exponents. Okay, in other words, we're going to take this m, okay, our uh, numerator exponent, okay, the power that's in the numerator, and then we'll take away the uh, exponent that's in the denominator. So just exactly like this. So this is one way to uh, do this problem. Now there's another property. This one is often confused. It's negative exponents a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. I'll explain uh, uh, in a second how this property works. And then another one is this. If we're trying to multiply two powers and the bases are the same here, a to the m times a to the n, what we could do is just write the base and add the exponents. Right. So these are three absolute rules that you need to know. And we're going to use these rules in a couple different ways to uh, simplify the problem. But before we do, if you have not yet subscribed and if you're thinking about it, just don't think about it anymore. Just hit that subscribe button. You don't even realize how helpful this is for me, okay? I put a lot of time and effort into my YouTube videos. Um, you know, I love to teach from basic math to advanced math uh, calculus. So, you know, by you just clicking that little button and make sure you hit that notification button uh, to get my latest content, it really, really does help. So thank you so much. And now back to the problem. All right. So as I uh, indicated, we have a division of power situation, right? We have this power and we're dividing by this power. Now we can actually use one of these uh, rules here because the bases are the same. We have two here and two here. So the rule is what? We're gonna uh, subtract the exponents and this one comes first, okay? The exponent in uh, the numerator, okay? Uh, the power in the numerator, and then this will uh, come second, right? And you gotta be very careful with these negative exponents. So this is gonna be three minus this negative five right here. Now let me, let me go back to the rule here just to make sure you understand what we're doing, right? So we're dividing power, so it's going to be m, that, that's the exponent of the power in the numerator, and then n is the exponent of uh, the power in the denominator. You got to be very careful, again, working with these negative signs right here. All right, so 2 cubed divided by 2 to the negative fifth is equal to 2 cubed minus a minus 5, or a negative 5. So uh, opposite or minus a minus 5 or negative of a negative 5 is plus. So this is 2 uh, to the 3 plus 5, right? All this is equal to 3 plus 5. And the last time I checked, 3 plus 5 is 8. There you go, 2 to the 8th power. Okay, so that is one approach to do this problem. And I would suspect most of you out there, if you know what you're doing, probably did it this way. But there is other approaches we can take using these properties. Now, um, 
One other uh, approach you could take is we have 2 cubed divided by 2 to the negative fifth. I, I could say to myself, you know what, I'm going to take this power right here, 2 to the negative fifth, and I'm going to move it upstairs, okay? This is downstairs, this is upstairs. Yeah, I know I'm not using proper technical mathematical language, right? Denominator, numerator. I'm just going to move it down from the basement up to the first floor, okay? Now, how can I move a power in its current location, 2 to the negative fifth, and put it next to this number right here? Now, this is uh, actually pretty easy to do. I could take this whole power and move it next to this number or this power here. All I need to do is change the sign. So in other words, 2 to the negative fifth, uh, or 2 cubed divided by 2 to the negative fifth is equal to 2 cubed, this is my um, uh, numerator, times 2 to the positive 5. So uh, all you need to do, okay, if you want to move a power from one side of a fraction bar to the other is simply change the sign, okay? So this is going to go from 2 to the negative fifth times 2 to the fifth. Now this is a very confusing rule. And matter of fact, let's just figure this. Let me go ahead and just fi uh, finish the problem here, and I'll show you more examples of this. All right, so we have 2 cubed uh, over or divided by 2 to the negative 5. I'm going to think about, uh, I'm going to think of doing this problem as 2 cubed times 2 to the positive 5. Now this is uh, multiplication of powers with the same base. Okay, remember, if the bases are the same and it's multiplication, all I have to do is add the exponents. So this is going to be 2 to the 3 plus 5, of course. There's our answer, 2 to the 8th. Now let's go back to this rule right here. Uh, I just want to make sure that you understand. Okay, so if I have 2 to the negative 7th over 2 to the negative 9th, it doesn't make a difference. If I want to uh, write these um, in a different way, I could just flip-flop these uh, in all sorts of uh, permutations. So I can take this 2 to the negative 9th, I can move it upstairs, so that becomes 2 to the positive 9th. Okay, so whatever... Uh, its sign is becomes opposite when you move it to the opposite side of the fraction bar. Now I could have this next to my 2 to the negative 7th, or I could say, you know what, I'm going to bring this down to the uh, denominator 2 to the 7th. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. What if I had 1 over x to the negative 2 times uh, y to the 5th? Okay, well, uh, this works with numbers and variables. I could be like, you know what, I'm going to write uh, this this way. I'll bring this x to the negative 2. You don't have to do this. It's just something you can do. Uh, x squared over x to the fifth. Okay, that's one way of writing it. Uh, another way of writing it, be, I can be like, you know, now look again here. I'm changing the sign because I'm moving it to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So I can move this up. So I could have this x squared and now this positive y to the fifth, I can move that up there and it will just become negative y to the negative five, all over one. So you can shift powers, their location, where they're at in, in terms of whether, uh, uh, and the numerator and denominator, just all you have to do is change the current sign of the exponent. All right, so again, you know, this is stuff that you're gonna have to practice. Very important stuff indeed, especially if you are uh, taking algebra. But uh, again, you know, if you're a little bit confused, that's okay. The only way to get unconfused is to learn, you know, this stuff correctly and then practice, okay? It's just like walking up some stairs. You're not going to get to this higher level of understanding. You have to, you're just not going to like, you know, go from here to like, oh, I kind of get it to, oh, I mastered it now. That's not going to happen. You're going to have to go step by step by step by step by step. Just be willing to put the work in, and I'm here to help. Now, if you need help with powers and exponents, uh, I'm going to leave links to my um, uh, uh, main math courses in the description. I'm going to suggest checking out like my um, pre-algebra or algebra one course. Um, I teach about powers and exponents in those courses. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.